Well, with the recent news, there's only one thing to do here. So I know many people were saying that I should get the S282 license because we have enough money for it and we like Steam Engine. But apparently it also requires concurrent jobs, which uh, we don't have enough money for. But guess what they just added to the game? This. You know what we doing. You know exactly what we doing. Yeah, we, we, we desire this. Blech. All right, but we still have money. Do we still have money? Yeah, it's still $44,000. What other things should we get? I mean, MU would be smart. Manual service, oh, that might be fun. Steam engines. Logistical halls are kind of boring. Oh, we could get the DM3 as well. Could have all the options. Oh, man. Oh, so, so many choices, so many choices. So many choices. I think I'm gonna get manual service because I think that's that's probably smart. And then we'll, we'll just save the money from there. Oh man, that helps the copay. Uh oh. Well, that's not smart. But uh, you know, we're here at City Southwest, and I don't think that we're gonna get a little steam choo choo uh, spawning here. Something tells me. No, it's just de twos. The, uh, <clears throat> they note in the patch notes for the S060 that it tends to spawn at small industries, and then they said, like, you know, like forests, multiple times over. So perhaps uh, this should be the one time that we do a forest job. So let's go to the forest. I've not been to Forest Central in probably, like, three years of playing this game, so... Have we been blessed with an steam engine? I don't know where the locomotives get parked in this yard. Oh, there's a water tower. Okay. They did say they added water towers. That's cool. But where, but where is train? It's just a bunch of log cars. Oh. That must be it. It looks like a little choo-choo. All the way out on the, the return loop over here. Yes. Let's take a look at this thing. It's so cute. God, it's so busy up at the smoke box with all the appliances right there. Pretty. I like the uh, the red accents on the rods and the crank pins. Looks like a little beefcake. Beefcake of a choo-choo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We like new trains. New trains is always good. Can we, can we in? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we, we we don't have one of those yet. Uh, want anything from the shop? Uh, I don't know where the shops are. Is there one at the forest? Forest Central, maybe? There is a yellow thing, or an orange thing. That's the station though, isn't it? The actual station building, yeah. Might have to teleport to the harbor and go buy a shovel and come back. Or goods factory, there's apparently one. And city south- No, there was a shop in city southwest! F. Alright, well that's probably gonna be the cheapest teleport, so let's go back to- Let's go back to the city here. Pay no attention, false start! Want anything from the shop? Anything more about them killers then? It's just the one killer, actually. Alright, that blue building, right? I think so. <laughs> Boombox! Your trusty companion all day long! 
Reginald's garage key. Yes, very good. Oh, all the, all the things. Many cassettes, lanterns. Shovel. Shovel. Sretzer. Uh, we already bought the lighter because we, we have the lantern. Oh, and special thanks to everyone for telling me the the darn hotkey to precisely place things. <laughs> after after everyone watched me sit there and go, Ugh! Mini game! Mini game! Yeah. Anyway. Uh, shovel. I want the shuffle. Yes. Can I just run away with the, the scanner from the store? <laughs> Stole it. I don't want that. Pow. Bang. <laughs> yes. All right, so now we want, there's a way to do this. Uh, is it caps lock? Yes. I desire the shovel there, that there, that there. Just like vaguely like that. Put that over there, we don't care about that. Ah! Pay no attention. It is allergy season, and uh, I have the horrendous problem of being allergic to everything, pretty much, and also being out of allergy medication. Single tear. I ran out yesterday and I didn't get any more, so we're just gonna play through the pain today, everyone. Hopefully that's the one sneeze. No! Why would you do this? We don't want that. We want the other thing. We've got the scoop now. Single tier. Okay. Uh, so we'll just continue wasting money on fast traveling. Uh, maybe, maybe, oh, you know what? Oh, well, Central's kind of like a small industry, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Can there be some boys? We can run the boys now. We got hazmat too. Uh, trains step on in over there. I can see a DE6. I don't know what else I can see. Come on, show me, show me, show me a steam engine. No. Yeah, this doesn't classify as small industry. It classifies as a giant, giant explosive uh, target. Actually, I think. All right, <laughs> respawn me a train. Really? All right, well, let's try another one. I'm gonna have to put a, a running counter of all the times we teleport here. The farm, do we think? Nah, let's go to the other forest. It'd be a less fun run, it's a shorter run, but. I guess the range of the SO60 is is also denoted as medium because it is an 060. It is a saddle tank engine. Really? What is what is with all these DE2s? No one cares. We do not want them. We want to play with the new train. All right. I believe I believe in the heart of the random number generator. Really? Okay. What if? What if? What if? Machine Factory's got all kinds of stuff going on. Let's, let's try Machine Factory. <laughs> There's a big roundhouse there. Steam engines going roundhouses. There's a chance. Where, 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 where is it? Where is the roundhouse? It's on the other side of town. Oh yeah, that's the station, so. We're just gonna wear out the F key on my keyboard. Running down the platform. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There is something behind that tree. I know not what it is. That is the butt of an S282. Okay. Okay, well, look at the smorgasbord of all the other engines. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Uh, stop being cruel to me, game. Come on. This is cruel and unusual punishment. We're gonna go to the iron ore mine. <laughs> it's a small industry. 
blocking the crossing once again. And it's just gonna do it too. No! Why? Why must you do this? Okay. Uh, back to the forest. I just want to experience the new train. Come on. Don't make me wreck that DE2. Well, that's a DM3 now. At least we know the RNG's working. We can't touch that, though. We don't have the license for it. We aren't licensed for that. Okay. Well, then we'll go back to the other forest. <laughs> I don't honestly know how many times I've fast traveled here. Where, where did all your money go, Heiss? Oh, uh, you know, travel expenses. Another DM3. Come on. Come on, game. Oh, this is cruel and unusual. What about the sawmill? Maybe the sawmill? Like, we haven't tried that yet. Let's uh, add another one to the list here. Hey! Here we go. This is not an origin uh, place so much. We'll have to see what kind of jobs we have, but I think I want to get this thing fired up and look at it first before we do too much with it. Cool branch pipes. It's just, it's just like a brick outhouse. Ooh. 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 Brass drains. It's pretty. It's very dark in here. Handbrake. Or oh, there! Ah! Ah! ladder not work? I was like, this is designed with me in mind. <laughs> I guess you can teleport, but I've got a hatch so I can fall into the roof and die. <laughs> oh, that's the that's the greatest. Yeah, okay, we're gonna open the sunroof. <laughs> it's a little hot in here, despite the fire not having been started. Okay, neat fire door. Right, let's put some coal in the hole. And uh, get the things lit off here. Yes, fuego. Uses a lot as it starts. And water level's on the way up. So this pressure fires up nice and quick, that's for sure. It's without even any blower on. They did do some changes to the, uh, the Steam Sim stuff as far as like like economy of coal usage and fire up it seemed like um because apparently coal was pretty expensive actually in career mode i hadn't really messed with it yet okay so brakes are over on the right and then fire doors there oh that's the cold oh yes yeah <laughs> if only it worked that that easily in real life yes those are great shakers and then that's the damper. And I don't know which way's open. So we'll find that out, I guess, by looking at the temp as we get underway. Oh, that's our John. We have a Johnson bar! An actual Johnson bar. You'll love to see that. And then that's cylinder cocks. Water's good. Then we this is just the injector, just. Just one little knob, easy enough. Headlight switches over there. I love this little turret. We've actually got like a real turret. Uh, although it still has the hydrostatic lubricator condenser on top. That's uh, that's fine, <laughs> we'll live with that. <laughs> it's a neat looking cab. Uh, well, let's go get uh, some appliances fired up here. Do we have a mechanical lubricator on this? Yes, we do, right here. And then we have our air pump and things up here. Dynamo on, air pump on, the mid dynamo quieter, which I wish was a feature of actually working on Steam. It's annoyingly loud, always. And we've got two single chime whistles modeled right here, so hopefully I don't hate the whistle. What is that?
What? Well, we've got a, 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 a jiggly handle pull there. Is that like the brake cylinder release, maybe? I'm not sure what that's about. If I set up the brakes, is that our bleed? Yeah, that's cool. Brake cylinder bleed, they actually modeled it. That's really neat. Okay, so that's all charged up. Plenty of main res. Um, the brake cylinder and brake, like, Yeah, that's brake pipes up, so we're released. So this automatic is ba backwards-ish. Oh, I'll have to get used to that. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, well now uh, we want cab lights on, so we can actually kind of see what we're doing. Just just a dangly light bulb, which is about as jank as you'd expect. Ah, this is cool. Nice little shutoffs for everything. Blow, the blowdown is that little pipe, which I mean, okay, gameplay, get it. Blowers there, fun. Um, okay, there's not much more to, to say about this thing. The speedo only goes to 60, which does not spark joy, but it's a little switcher. It's very cute, uh, I enjoy it. Oh, and we've got a big fancy headlight switch. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. And it's marked, just in case. In case you don't know what the loud cord does. Uh. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows why. That's that's probably extremely accurate for one of these. That doesn't mean that I like it though. <laughs> oh goodness. I wish the ladder had collision, but I'm sure that that's uh, quite a complicated thing. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Ah, ah, oh, ah, oh, yes, 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 okay, all right, full points, I award full points, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, in case you're not picking up what I'm freaking out about, they animated the valve gear. <laughs> Just, can I, can I gingerly set that on something? Uh, no, it says, don't put the, the lantern on the running gear. So I say, fine. Oh. Well, we'll use a flashlight then. Okay. Yeah, so we're in forward. So the radius rod's all the way up. It's got this crazy kind of curvy bracket. And this is all sorts of neat. That's your actual, like, tumbling shaft and everything that raises and lowers the link in the expansion link. And so that's in forwards. And you might be thinking, you've seen me talk about this before and it's always talking about wanting to have the radius rod below the pivot so that it matches what the eccentric does, right? Because this is Walshert's valve gear. And this eccentric exists to offset the valve by about 90 degrees of wheel rotation to the piston. So that when the piston's almost all the way at this side, it's making sure that it's getting steam put in on that side so that the valve's kind of in the middle, allowing that steam to flow around like that. So why is it backwards? Well, it's backwards because the rods are a little backwards. The pivot point for the valve crosshead is actually below the radius rod on this locomotive. So that means that you have to reverse this to make this work. Because on engines like 491 that you've seen on my channel and talking about, and talking about having everything be below the pivot so that it matches, this uh, point here, this rod, is actually all the way at the top, and then the radius rod comes in lower. And so when you have this set up to maintain the admission that you have, you actually have to spin it the other way. So this is accurately backwards, quote unquote. It's just a different way to set things up. But that's 
wicked cool. And uh, Zybok was messaging me, asking me questions about this earlier this week. So I did have a bit of a suspicion that th this may have been coming, but uh, very, very good to see in just vanilla Dear All Valley that they, they did this. Props to you guys. Alt Future just continuing to put a big, dumb smile on my face. Yeah. Yeah, you love to see it. This is a great looking choo-choo. Okay, well, we've got it fired up. Um, and let's make sure it has water before we leave it undetended. It's fine. Okay. Uh, let's go find the station. Oh, look, conveniently right there. And see what we can do here. We have shunting, or a logistical hall, which we cannot do. We have shunting. We have a freight hall. Okay. We have another logistical hall. We have another shunting job. And another shunting job. <clears throat> the freight job is the biggest one, but that's to the goods factory from the sawmill. That would be a test of this thing's range. I don't know if we would make that. Do we want to try it? We could put we could put it through its paces as a switcher. Or or we could or we could try and send it on the main. That's, I don't, I don't, I don't mm, mm. Deliver boards. It's not that much tonnage. It's not that much tonnage and we ended the last job, the last episode with some shunting. So we're gonna start this one with some running. Why not? Let's see it. Let's see just what the range is on this little 060. Can we make it across the map? Okay, it is the FH-74, it's gonna be boards, and that, what, let's see, what track is it on? It's probably this one right here. Alright, let's get our switches lined, and uh, we'll go bang into these cars, and then, uh, and then start praying. And presumably, like, we should be able to refuel and or rewater at the sawmill if need be. So we gotta pull out past that lead anyway there. You love seeing a little steam engine. It's such a cute, like, it's such a good size. It's a cute little dude. All right, let's go do the thing. Oh, right. Yeah. I can't see the valve gear through the steam, man. that water being shoved around by my pistons still, or is that just valve gear noise? This thing accelerates fast. Well, that's not the switch I want. Is it? Oh, it is the switch I want. All right, kick it off. Here we go. <laughs> Grab the window. Still sounding like a little bit of water, so we'll get that going. Get a little more water in the engine itself. What are these little valves? Oh, that's where her wipers and her ding ding is. That's all fun. <clears throat> oh, our fire is just completely out. Nailed it. 
Oopsie. Don't mind me! I love how quick this thing gets up and goes. This is gonna be fun. And hopefully it stops quick, too. Alright, now gently molest these cars. Bang! Tie in the air. Kapang, kapang. Alright, I don't know if the time bonus really matters. We got 153 minutes. That'll give us plenty of time to service on the way over there if we need it. Alright. Let's do the thing. And we're going to Goods Factory D6 inbound. Can we do it? With the 060. I don't know, but I hope so. Hi, ball! As soon as my whistle comes back, come on. <laughs> All right, we got places to be, man. Oh, there's a handbrake set on this. Right. Still sounds like there's water in there. Yeah, this thing gets up and goes like mad. I love it. Alright, we got a 40 through here. And that's what we're doing, basically. God, that's a spicy curve, though. That's so spicy! You can do 40 around that? Apparently. Alright. Let's try and run with the bar here. Just have it hooked up as possible. Can I can I see the, the magic? Yes! That's awesome. Safety's still popping, so we'll close the damper. Try and get a little bit less temperature out of the fire so we're not just wasting coal. Although we probably should be putting some water in, so maybe we want that temp. Yeah. I think it's still 40. I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> Hopefully we don't burn down our own product here. And where where are we? I've, oh, God, I've never run this way, really, so I'm really going to be lost. We have to turn right at City Southwest, basically. Run through Oil Well, run through the farm, run through Steel Mill, and then run on to Goods Factory. Okay, we got water back in the gauge. It's still 40 there. I'm gonna get some more coal going actually now because we're still trying to get more water in this thing. And we're losing pressure quite quickly. Got the throttle on the ceiling. Oh, well, we don't need the throttle to be on the ceiling now actually. So, uh, yeah, that's plenty, plenty of speed. Plenty of speed, spice. Does it go fast, ladies and gents? Yes, it does. All right, that's probably pretty good on the full water. We'll just keep it dialed down. That's a real strategy, is just to keep the injector fined down if you're really working an engine hard. Depending on the engine and what exactly it does, you can you can keep it fined down so it's putting down a minimal uh, amount of water in the boiler always, just so you guarantee that you're always getting more water in. But we're not quite getting the, the draft we need to keep the fire stupid hot but we are doing oh I guess 50 we're do, only doing 45 and we can go 50 through here this is a pretty little canyon that I, I don't know if I've run through on the channel or ever maybe I have I don't know do we just need more fuels more coals in the holes let's do that see if that helps there's 50. God, that is just right and spicy there. And there's a 30 coming up, so we'll just shut her down. Bar in the corner. And just dump the air. Just give me, give me, give me brakes, please. Brakes, please. Okay. 
somehow made it through that going way over the limit. I'll bring that back. Pinch it back down to track speed here. Got water back in the sight glass to shut the gun off. And uh, we're still doing like 40, so <laughs> come on. Set it up a little bit. Please, brakes. Does the brakes work, please? Feels like the automatic behaves a lot slower than I'm anticipating it to. Maybe, it's, I only have three cars, so. That's a spicy curve. This is a spicy alignment to run on. Okay. Let's see if we can't maintain that speed here. More coal! Get her wide open again. So it's a 30 there again though, hang on. So we just won't even, we'll try and let the pressure come back. And we are, <laughs> we are wasting fuel by the uh, black plume. So we're not drafting the fire at all. God, these are spicy curves. Well, there's city southwest. So we gotta get be getting vaguely close. Set on switch there, so we're ready to stun. Oh, and, and we'll we'll get up on the crow's nest here. <laughs> As is tradition. <laughs> where, where is the switch? Okay, now we can do 50 though. Hang on. So we got places to be. Draft my fire. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. And there there goes all of the cinders. That's more like it. Get back on the crow's nest here. Oh, of course, now it's immediately a 30 again. Air! Is there air? You don't know! Okay, lap that. Alright, I was just not taking big enough sets. Because that, that actually felt like it did something. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? Where's the switch? The switch! Where is it? It's gonna be like right around this corner, isn't it? If we make it around this corner, good god. There it is. And we're lined to the right, okay. Got a 20! That might be the lowest speed limit in the valley, but 30 around that way, and we're doing bang on 30, so we'll just... around this curve. Good heavens. All right. Got the safety lifting, so it's time to uh, start using some steam. <laughs> because we've got an 80. we got places to be, man. Come on. Go. Show us what you got. And that's a good way to make the pressure needle disappear. And then it immediately goes to another 50. And we, we know that we should be lined all the way to the steel mill at this point, so... Just shut her down and, and just let it coast at 50, I guess, here. Let it coast in the corners. Good procedure. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. You love to see it. Okay. Oh, 30 to the left. Of course. And our, we were lined to the left. All right. So we'll just plug it. Emergency app to start, and then that, and then lap it, and then that seems to seems to wake up the brake valves a wee bit. Ah! As we go yoink around this turn, that's fine. And throttle on the ceiling. Here we go. Pull through it. Come on, sweetheart. Oh my God! Look at all of these cinders. Got places to be. And, and forests to burn down. Just all of the cinders. Let's, uh, let's stop burning down everything. What was that speed sign? Oh, I guess we'll find out. And we need more coal. And we need more water. Oh god, we just murdered the water. Yep. Let's just, uh, just open that wide. Okay, that says 80, so that's probably fine. Yeah. 
keep hooking that up about as high as it goes. Can we get some blower to help us out on the, the fire temp? Not that it would really do anything when you're running this fast, but you never know, in a game, maybe. It does seem like it's helping the fire temp come up a little bit. And we'll stop dousing our pressure super hard with water, because the water's come back into the site class, which is, you know, helpful. I love this little engine. It is so cute. And it has, it has like a dedicated heist platform. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, that was, um, that did not spark joy. We don't like this. No, 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 no. Jump, jump. Huh. Oh, oh, oh God. Okay, hey look, we're back in the train. Hi. I started whistling for this grade crossing way too early. <laughs> and this thing, this engine, it is really doing the 060 dance. Oh my god, I love this. It's all over the place on the rails. That's one of my favorite things about these little engines is that if you don't have a lead truck and a trailing truck, so an 060 or an 080 or whatever, if you don't have both, it's just like one bogey basically going down the track, one truck. And so they violently dance down the track as they go. And uh, <laughs> Deer Valley devs have that figured out because this thing is all over the place at this speed right now and it is awesome. And that speed limit said 50, but I, I bet you can keep going 60 around it. We're not even quite doing 60. See, it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to blitz through the farm. Give him a warning whistle. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. Coal in hole. Got that taken care of. Let's see if we can't feed it a little bit more. We've, we've pegged the speedo, everyone. You love to see it. Water's kind of coming back up in the glass. It's fine. We're probably doing 60. The needle says we're doing 60, so I'm gonna trust the needle as the fog rolls in over the uh, over the steel mill here. Yeah, super fun. Oh God. Well, that was a little spicy there. We can do 90 now, it's fine. 90 for this little three feet of track and now 60. Okay, and now now is where the switch isn't gonna be aligned for us. Oh, and that's right, they made it so that you can partially unload the shovel. It's very silly. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna shut off and let our steam come back up, hopefully. Because we gotta get that switch lined to the left and it's probably gonna be a 50 through there. Okay. I don't wanna use brakes because I wanna keep all the speed I have. Oh, it's a 70. Really? Well, 70 followed by a 60. And presumably, we're still, oh no, okay, we're now back on the on the charts here. Come on, pressure, come back up. I guess I'm still putting water in, but shut that off. Try and keep a little speed going. Yeah, uh, first time I saw an 040 really run and run kind of hard was Stoffy's 040, the chicken. Santa Cruz, Portland Cement, number two. It's pulling like four or five heavyweights at Northwest Railway Museum. And I mean, uh, Stoffy called it the 040 dance, and he's right, because I mean, it is a dance that they do, and I'm not lined through the main. Ah! <laughs> who, who didn't normal the switches? I have no one to blame but myself. It's fine. Oh God, this is the steel mill. Can we blitz through here? Like, do we, do we still, we still have coal. We still have coal. How much water do we have? Is there water in there? I mean, it kind of looks like there might be some water in there. I guess we'll find out. It's not that much further and it's mostly flat track. We got some downhill coming up here, which means our water level is gonna go down and it's already really low. So, you know, we should probably fix that. <laughs> Kill the pressure further. More coal, 
More coal! Help us out. Fire. Alright. I'm gonna shut it off. Because I don't want to bleed this thing dry. Not leaking anything. Let it drift in the corner. Okay, we're not lined into tutorial land, so that's good. And we're, we're back on the, uh, off the charts on the speedo here. So that's good. The pitch of the audio is still increasing, so we're still going faster. And oh my god, we are just all over the place. This is awesome. The 040 dance, although it's the 060 dance. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, I mean, that's... That was a little spicy flange scrapey sounds. Are we doing more than 70? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch on a little independent. Just because I'm a little scared. Okay, now we'll release that, so we can do 80. Okay, the water is back way up high, so we'll shut that off. Which means we still have water in the tank, presumably. And more coal, come on. God, this thing is super cool. And the, the gauges being all shiny and pretty. I love all the textures. Oh, that's where the sand is. I didn't see it. It's right next to that. Come back up, Kesseldruck! Wait, we're not playing that game. Have I had the damper closed this whole time? No, definitely not. That immediately cooled off the fire. steam just to get the fire temp up just a little bit. Although we're going to try and have it like notched back as far as we can. It's just, it's just all over the track. I love it. It's doing the 060 dance. <laughs> I kind of want to go back to the cars and watch it go around and do the thing, but uh... <laughs> I don't want to die by it. Sad, sl small teleports again. Pressure is just uh, it's just chilling down in the down there. I guess that's just where it's gonna live. I can't really provide enough draft for it with how fast we're going. Like I could do this and just, but that's just gonna dump the steam, isn't it? It's not really gonna give us draft. There comes a point in many Valve Gear setups where you're running so fast that you, you kind of achieve valve float, more or less. Not like a valve valve float in a car, like the valve still lets steam come in, but the piston is moving so fast that the, the steam doesn't really get you much, and so you end up kind of bottling the steam. You don't really exhaust that much steam, uh, and so you don't get much draft out of the stack, which means you can't really get much force on the fire to help it burn hotter, which is why uh, our fire temp's been a little bit further down for a bit there. spicy through there. We're coming up to the switch off for the uh, the goods factory though because it should be the next junction. We just crossed the river. Yeah, it's the it's coming up. We're going to do this left-hander and then we're going to turn right and then we're going to pull up the hill to the uh, to the goods factory. Shut the throttle off. See if it recovers a little pressure now. Just let it coast. Coast the bar in the corner be a good boy. Although I guess with an engine that can go this fast, uh, the corner may not actually be the right procedure. Like halfway, like the Brits do, might make more sense. Okay, we're coming up. There's the yard limit sign, junction sign, whatever it is. I see why, and it makes me think yard limits, but it's not necessarily actually a yard limit. It means junction in the game. Just looking for a switch, looking for a switch. There's the switch. Line him to the right. We're lined to the right now, yes? Yeah, okay. We want more fire temperature, please. Can we take this at 60? Or no, we can take it at 50, and we're doing 50 bang on, so we'll, we'll just let it do. And we're gonna go uphill to the goods factory, and we got a half glass right now, so we should be fine on water. So we don't need to worry about it. And uh, we'll do our approaching station stop call here. 
And we look back and the imaginary conductor says we're stopping. Okay. So we blow three and open her wide and hook it back up so that we actually don't kill the steam immediately. It's a little bit of a climb. This thing is so cool. It's raining a little bit. We haven't had any problems with slipping yet. Um, although we didn't really have to start or run slow yet while it was raining. This thing's got so much adhesion. I mean, it's like, that's exactly what you want in an 060. It's just like welded to the rails, able to just pull for days. And that's really what this thing's doing. Oh, we almost let the fire die. That's fine. Why is your fire temperature low? Well, there's no coal. Well, that would do it. Okay, we are going to the D6 inbound, which I think is in the, uh, off to the right. So what we're going to want to do is run up the hill and go diverge through the loop first and back in to cut the cars off, I think. If I'm remembering the goods factory. It's been a minute since I've been there. Pulling uphill. The uh, water is getting a little low. That's pretty low for uphill, if I'm honest. But our steam pressure is not great. But, I mean, let's be responsible firemen and take care of priority number one. Don't detonate the bomb. Yeah, firemen in charge of water, fire, pressure, uh, left side of the train. Not necessarily in that order. Probably water fire left side of the train no water water left side of the train fire pressure in that order that's your job tunnel coming up hook that back up a little bit all right we do 50 through here but we're, we're gonna shut back because there is no visibility in this fog right now Okay, so this is the B yard, so I was correct that we need to go to the other side of the, uh, the area for the D yard. I think it's that switch. Probably. Probably? Can we go this fast through that? I don't know. Let's squeeze on some independent. the A sidings there. And then the D yard is right over there somewhere. Oh god. It's making the spicy sounds. Oh! Well then. <laughs> I realized I heard the, the sound cue and then was like, oh god. No! We... How have we not paid attention to this? We came so close! <laughs> scared the crap out of me. What was I saying about pay attention to the things? I had the gun wide, oh, well, I guess I, I put it wide open right at the end. There was hardly any fire temp though. Oh, I guess had the blower, the blower was wide open. Was there, did we, did we? Okay. Yeah, well, so, ladies and gents, in case you were wondering, if you can make it from the sawmill to the goods factory, can you make it across the map in the SO60? Yes, you can, but you won't have any water left. <laughs> That did, that, I don't know if they changed it, because it feels like the S282, like, in, in Sandbox and have played with it, is like, it starts making the, the, the crinkly sad sounds for, like, 30 seconds before it goes. But that was like, I realized it was making the sounds, went to grab the, the injector, and then, and then it, and then it blew up. Although maybe, maybe that's just good sim. Well, but I guess we, we didn't have any water in the tanks, so I guess it just blew up. But if you, uh, if you, if you quickly, if you realize that you've exposed the crown sheet, one of the worst things you can do is put a big slug of cold water in the boiler and then have it slosh back and then hit, have super cold hit super hot. And then you can like insta kaboom the choo-choo. But, um, 
yeah. So that's a bummer. Um, I guess I can re-rail this car and we, we can we can still probably deliver the job because we're probably going to, you know, I need to find a locomotive, you know, one that's not exploded. <laughs> oh, 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 poor Choo Choo. Poor Choo Choo. It, it didn't ask for this. Uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't explode this, and then there's no damage on the other cars, so it, it may be worth saving. So let's see, uh, can we rerail this boy? Did we not spend all of our money teleporting? Bang! There we go. And those are probably too far to couple. Yeah. Okay. So then, single tier. <laughs> the new SO60. Uh, it's awesome, but yeah, uh, don't don't try and run all the way across the universe with it. Where is the diesel shop? I think it's is it down this leg? Yeah. Okay, good. And there is a DE2. All right, we mocked you all earlier because we didn't want to play with you because we got a new toy, but we blew up our new toy. So hello, old friend. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Let's uh. Go grab our cars here. Shut up. Yes, it's wet out. <laughs> Charge up the air, do the thing, turn on the wipers. <laughs> I can't believe I'm, I legitimately accidentally blew up a locomotive. But, uh, that's not good on the resume, I don't think. <laughs> Alright, line that switch. What we're gonna do, just so we don't end up kicking these when we bang into them, I'm gonna tie this handbrake. So we can compress both joints, get both of those coupled up. And we'll still probably make the time bonus. Come on. It's a sharp curve. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bang! I already hurt the car once. What's a little more? Tie that in. Bang. And then we hit it hard enough to compress both joints. Do that. Do 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 do. Kapunk. Kadunk. Okay. So that's all charging up. Let's go untie the handbrake that I tied. Details. <laughs> and, and we need to figure out which track we're going to still. In all this confusion, I lost track myself. We are going to the D6 inbound. Shut up! Pull! Yes, it's wet out. Don't be scared of the water. Just, just spice those traction motors. Spice them gently. Why are you pulling so hard? Because I didn't cut the air in? No, the air's cut in. Oh, it sets handbrakes after you re-rail things. Well, that's a neat quality of life feature. Gee. If only some other things did that. That'd be nice. Alright, we'll set a light independent here and let that just kind of coast to a stop. Pass the switch, please. Thank you. Alright, let's go line ourselves into the D6. That was through the diesel yard there. And D6 is to the right. Alright. So line that switch. D5, D6 is right here. Switches are lined, and we're gonna shove them back through the fog. Through the fog and the night. <laughs> Day shift blew up the steam engine. My oh god, this thing took forever to stop. And typical, blocking the crossing. Alright, spice them traction motors up.
got places to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss I miss my SO60. It accelerates so fast. It gives it the beans, and I blew it up. Uh, single tier. Just gonna leave that there. See if it ever despawns. And then I guess we'll have to see, like, I can't manually service that, I wonder why. Um, I could manually service this, but we'll have to see just how much it costs, because I, I have a feeling we're paying our insurance. <laughs> I have a feeling we've met our copay for, I don't know, blowing up a steam engine. <laughs> so I feel the manual servicing license may be a smidge moot at, the, at this point. So, yeah, okay, it's fine. Slam the independent brake on. It's afraid it doesn't complain. And the DE2 just knows no bounds about trying to stop. Slam this handbrake on, because we have to do that. Uh, emergency fuel cutoff. Kapew. <laughs> and a sneeze. Alright, tied down. Cool. Station is through here somewhere? Question mark? Uh, oh, that's where the service is, right there. Where's the station? There it is, green light. Hobble over here, do 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 do. Validate the order. Did it in 31 minutes. We got the bonus money. Let's see. Cargo damage. Okay, 1380. That's not that bad. Okay, yeah. And no environmental damage. Yeah, that's fine. Just uh, pay, no, pay no mind. So $22,000 for that. Okay. We have $37,000. Yep. Oh, God. Guys. It begins. <laughs> And so it begins. <laughs> the eternal debt of the ESD. Nice. You have a debt to pay. It wouldn't have been so bad. If, uh, yeah, okay. We should have bought we should have bought more licenses. We had enough money to buy like one more. And I was like, no, we'll save the money. That was dumb. Spend the money. Make sure you have no money when the, when when the Dear Al Valley debtors come and then want want you to pay for your crimes against steam locomotives. <laughs> well, this was an adventure and a half. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>